Thanks, Lisa. Peter Dunn and David Cormack with me. Uh, welcome to you, uh, Peter Dunn. Let's go the big picture first. I mean, 50% for Labour at this point. Put it in context for well, us. Well, you know, this is not a once-in-a-generation election. This is about a once-in-a-hundred-years election. This is like 1938, when the Labour Party won this massive landslide on the back of the first term of the Savage government. I didn't think we'd see this happen, and it's early results yet, but it's looking more and more likely that this is going to be one of these elections that will be just so out of the ordinary that it, that it rewrites history. Well, let's have a look what it might look like in terms of seats in Parliament for those of you who are watching on television. And if you have a look at that there, Oof. I mean, it, <laughs> you only need 61 to get over the line. But um, if you look at that, that's just a sea of red that I'm seeing there and uh, those green dots too. Uh, so they would have 76 uh, seats. I think David was saying, here comes the wealth tax. Mm. But I mean, you, you really um, have an extraordinary uh, result there if that holds, right? Yeah, but the thing to remember, again, under first past the post, so not under this type of arrangement, but National won a huge majority in 1990, and because they won such a large majority and didn't have jobs for everyone, a lot of idle hands, and they lost a lot of those seats in 1993. So there's a curse built in here. that you, you And same back, even in the 1938 example, a big loss of the following election. So Labor's got a real issue now, not just celebrating this victory, but Labor has to really work out how it manages this enlarged caucus and keep some of those people who weren't expecting to be elected... Not a bad problem to have, but... No, right, I, gotcha. no, but, you know, I, I take, I take your point. And suddenly think, my God, I can do it all. Sorry, I'm, and, I'm crunching um, this mic for those... Uh, and, they, and they go completely get, off, off tangent. So a big management issue looming. Let's talk about someone who's gone off tangent tonight, and that's Jerry Brownlee, because I'm looking at Islam. Mm. Um, the Island seat now. I don't know how well you know Christchurch, but I'm pretty sure that Glendovie Road is in that seat, yep. and it's 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 um it's a pretty flash area of town, and it's been a national seat for a long time. I think you have some association with it. Well, I grew it. up there. Okay. And um, you know, I know Jerry. I've known Jerry since primary school days. But this was the seat of the Sid Hollands, the Harry Lakes, the Philip Burdens. It's been a pedigree national seat. And he's 2,000 yeah. behind. He's 2,000 yeah. behind. So just bring you up to date with this. Uh, Sarah Pallett, it's, it's, look, I, I confess it's a new name to me. Yeah. I, 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 have, I, I don't know anything about her. She's the Labour candidate. And i just looking at this now. At, this is 22-odd percent of the vote counted. And Jerry Brownlee, 2,000 uh, seats behind. It's extraordinary. Yeah, every landslide, there's always a real shocker electorate result. And this is looking like that one, you know. I was, I was actually saying this was my candidate for a shocker. Is if, that right? Yeah, and, you know, Jerry hasn't done himself any favours over the last few weeks with his interesting series of facts, and we're just seeing such an aggressive swing away from National. And so, to be perfectly honest, it's a little bit of a surprise, but it's it's not a huge shock. It is an upset. Uh, he'll get back in on the list, but that's, again, another list spot that he'll take where someone like Nicola Willis might miss out. Yeah, I mean, we're all just scrambling to Google her. She's a, a former yeah. midwife, apparently, um, ahead of uh, Jerry Brownlee in the seat at the moment. Another one that I thought was interesting was uh, Rangitata, which which again is uh, normally a safe blue seat, but Joe Luxton is ahead of Megan Hands there. So 14,000 uh, votes to Joe Luxton from the Labour Party. Uh, look, she's 5,000 <laughs> votes ahead of Megan Hands in, in a seat like that. Look, I th she's had a good term as a, as a first term Labour M uh, list MP. I think the controversy over the uh, previous MP won't have helped uh, Megan Hands and she was selected rather late. Uh, add that into the swing that's going on. And, this and, sort of just becomes one of those sorts of yeah. things. Yeah. We better go to the news.